action. <laughs> Yo, what's up guys, Mike here. So today I'm gonna teach you how to do a really long, sick back roll hand drag. This is an advanced tutorial. If you can't do a back roll hand drag yet, then I recommend you watch these videos from Steven and Kitesurf College. So a lot of guys are doing their back roll hand drag like this. The problem with their back roll hand drag is it's either really short or as soon as they get into strong wind, this happens. So I'm gonna teach you some really key points to doing really long back roll hand drags and also making sure that you can do them in strong winds, not just when you're on your 12 meter. So what do you think about my new Stinger video? Guys, at the end of the day, I make these videos for you. So I want you to let me know if you like it, if you don't like it, and let me know in the comments. Thanks. Point number one, when you go into your back roll hand drag, don't do a full rotation. Oh. Only do half of the back roll. you need to be comfortable sliding backwards for as long as possible. So you carve into the back roll, and then when you're going backwards, you don't stop rotating, but you rotate very slowly from this point onwards. Point number two, the earlier you pull the loop, the more aggressive the loop will be. So your goal is to drag that slide out for as long as possible and that kite is going to lose power as you slide longer and then eventually when you do pull that loop it's not going to be super aggressive and yank you around into another rotation and you will have done a longer slide. So what you want to do is glide for as long as possible. Move your hand closer towards the middle of the bar. Don't leave it on the outside. And from this position, you're able to still pull that bar in to give you the lift you need to stay above the water. And you're not automatically going to be pulling the kite into a loop too early. Make sure you stick around to the end where I analyze some of the clips that you guys sent to me. So another point that I pointed out in my how to do massive dark slides video, and this applies to all slides, is picture this being 12 o'clock. This is the direction in which I'm riding. I ride this way. I start to do my back roll hand drag. As soon as the kite is past 12 o'clock, once it's on this side, the, you're pretty much forced to pull the loop soon after finishing the maneuver. So you wanna keep that kite forward or above you for as long as possible whilst you're sliding. Wait really long to run out of that kite power and line tension. And then way later, then you wanna pull that loop. So make sure you leave that kite forward in front of you or above you. The last point, when you feel like you're getting closer to the water or you're running out of lift from the kite, that's when you really start to crank that loop. And at this point, you're backwards. Say I'm over here. At this point, you're backwards and you crank that loop and the loop is gonna pull you the rest of the way around. Keep in mind, you're rotating a little, little, little bit. The kite's gonna give you that pull and it's gonna pull you the rest of the way around. You're gonna ride it out. And yeah, you've just done a really sick, super long back roll hand drag and you didn't get your soul yanked out of your body. Please be sure to subscribe and ring that bell so you can catch future alerts. Meow. To sum it up, half a back roll. Keep that hand in the middle of the bar, pulling that bar in to give you lift and rotate very slowly as you're sliding and try and draw that slide out as long as possible, leaving the kite forward in front of you. Don't let it pass you too soon. And when you feel like you're getting close to the water, pull that backhand, crank that loop, finish the rotation and ride out. So why oh why oh why oh why oh why oh are we so in denial cause we know we're not happy here. Thank you bro. How's it going Sam? How are you bro? Woo! <laughs>
So I put something out on Instagram asking a few guys to send me clips of their back roll hand rags. And these aren't their best back roll hand rags, but they're ones that they thought and I thought we could like all learn something from. So thank you so much to everybody who sent me clips. You guys are just amazing and I'm blown away by how many clips I received from so many different corners of the world. And these clips are really gonna help everybody who watches this video figure out what they're doing wrong, what they can do better, Guys, amazing. Thank you so much. Meow. This slide could have been made longer by going into it much faster. Whoa, very nice inversion. All right, this one looks really good. Only thing I would say is it could be extended by leaving the kite forward and looping a little bit later. Very nice toe side landing from Eric. Whoops, stop looping there. You gotta keep pulling that loop. Very nice submission from Tor. Notice how he's only doing half the rotation. Tim is on quite a C-shaped kite and C-shaped kites don't give nearly as much lift as bow or delta kites. Cool submission from Stig, showing how you can practice this trick without the loop so you're not introducing as much risk into it and you can still practice all the other things we spoke about. Boom, very steezy inversion. Not really much edging or speed into that and a little bit too much rotation. Remember, only do half the back roll. Looking good from Ray. Okay, rotating too much and then pulling the loop. Well, that worked just fine, but if you use the same technique and strong wind, that loop is gonna yank you and pull you out of control. Looking good and there it is, slowing that rotation down, really good job. Pretty much everything is perfect with this slide. I think it could have been made longer by leaving the kite forward a bit longer, but other than that, pretty sick. You can see this one would benefit from having a little bit more speed on approach. So not the longest slide, but I really like how he's only doing half a rotation and you can see that kite is pulling him the rest of the way out of the rotation. You can see he's pulled the loop pretty much as soon as he's got into the trick. So remember, you gotta to wait to pull that loop. A lot of power, check that spray coming off my edge. Looking solid, going in fast, dragging far. Pulling that loop a little bit early, you can see I get pulled into the air. If I could have kept that kite forward a bit longer, I would have slid longer. Ooh, nice, landing blind from Jesse Bignon in France. Boom, blind landing. Very cool way to spice up this trick. Be sure to check out my next video. I'm putting out a few good ones. One of them is how to do the kite loop board off. Pretty crazy trick. And another one, how to do the boogie loop. Coming out soon. Meow.